these people who recite the purta, purta parne walo, marte tam tak parte rahe. Ayamat mein bhi purta parna, mein saath mein parna. Don't ever stop reciting the purta. Allah, if you stop reciting the purta, you are being someone who is deficient in the love of the Messenger of Allah. Salawat rabbi salam alayhi. He translated from in kulu mika ilm Allah ke wal qalami as. He says that they say, and they was referring to the people who recite the Sila Burqa, Ahlu Sunnah Tiwal Jamaah from around the world, around the world, the world, dunya, dunya. Check it out on YouTube, the different narration, you know, the different ways the Burqa is being recited. Ahlu Sunnah, the Yemeni style, the Syrian style, Jordanian style, African style, Pakistani style, Indian style, New Zealand style, even Chinese brothers recite the Sila Burqa, and they translate it into Cantonese and Chinese. Puri dunya me kisi ko nahi maalum, is TV wale ko maalum hoke. He said, they say, فَإِنَّ مِنْ جُودِكَ الدُّنْيَا وَتَرَّتَحَا وَمِنْ عُلُومِكَ عِلْمَ اللَّوْهِ وَالْقَلَمْ That the knowledge of the law and the qalam is the knowledge of Allah. And they say, that messenger of Allah, this is your knowledge. And he said, this is shit. We cannot say this. Okay. وَمِنْ عُلُومِكَ عِلْمًا لَوْحِ وَالْقَلَمْ Number one, we don't say, we don't say that the لَوْحِ قَلَمْ is from your knowledge, O Messenger of Allah. We say more than that. It is a part of your knowledge. وَمِنْ عُلُومِكَ عَذَابُ الْبُغَةِ اُبَرْ نَزَرْ Look at the Arabic language and look at this couplet over here. Imam Muhammad Sharaf Din Al Bursari Rahmahumullah Taala. When he was asked, Why do you say, Wa min ulumika ilm al lohi wal qalami? Why do you say this? That this is a part, a part of the Prophet's knowledge. Imam Sahib Tasdeeq Bursari Sharaf Khud Farmat. Unhone Khud Ne Jawab Diya. The one who wrote it, he says it. He says, I say this. Because the Messenger of Allah, Salawatu Rabbi wa Salamun Alayh, gave us news of the signs of Qiyamah. They have not happened yet. He gave us news of what is in Jannah. We have not seen it yet. He gave us news of the angels. We have not seen them. He gave us news of that which we have not seen. All of this is written on the Lawhi Qalam. The Lawhi Qalam is a part of his knowledge. You're restricting the knowledge of Allah. How can Allah's knowledge be a part of anything? Allah's knowledge is as if Allah is Himself. Without any beginnings and without any ending. Allah has no beginning. Allah has no ending. Allah cannot be restricted to anything. How can you say it's restricted to Allah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even his intention has no beginning and has no ending. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, kun has no beginning and has no ending. Ye sab insaan ki fitrat hai, Rabbi Kaina ki zujala apni banai hui makhluk se paak hai. Nei se kamil ki hi shayi. How can you be saying the lawhi qalam is from Allah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created it. Allah is free from his creation. You cannot restrict your Lord to a part of his creation in any way whatsoever. Allah is not in the same way. Think about it before you think about it. The language of Arabic you talk about, the language of Arabic, the language Allah has chosen for his messenger. Then you open it up to his knowledge. فَإِنَّ مِنْ جُودِكَ الدُّنْيَا وَتَرَّتَّهَا وَمِنْ عُلُومِكَ عِلْمَ اللَّوْهِ وَالْقَلَمِ The Messenger of Allah صلوات ربي وسلام عليه This has been given to him by Allah. If you start restricting the knowledge of your Lord, you're going to start putting beginnings on it. You're going to start putting endings on it. You're going to start restricting Allah. How can you restrict your own Lord? Allah's knowledge is as if Allah is Himself. Without any beginnings, without any endings, without his creation encompassing him in any way whatsoever. You understand? <laughs>